as you can see, it's a big old deer rub. That's the silky big boy. And that's all the way, full length of that opened out. And as you can probably see by the terrain behind me, you gotta get up high on those hard to reach ridges to find the big boys.
One thing I've learned about doing the panas, panas, when you're splitting it like that, is just to be very, very steady and very patient because otherwise it can split off and you just have to start all over again. So just do tiny bits at a time and obviously go nice and easy and if it starts to run one way or the other go back the opposite with your knife Folded the tarp over three times so that way if it does get a little chilly or some weather in the night I can always just fold it over me, tuck the sleeping pad inside it and use it like a bivy almost. And if I need to, I can pull the head up as well.
Oh. Right, let's try this, shall we? My dirty knife. That's the only reason I haven't got COVID yet, though, I think. <laughs> it's because I eat dirt every week. Get a big cheesy piece. Big old cheesy piece. C'est bon. Probably put a little too much cheese in there. Be fine if it wasn't the horseradish cheese, but the horseradish cheese is a bit overpowering. But it's nice right now. Got a great view out over the valley, over to the other mountains. It's been a nice day. It's a really nice day. I really enjoyed today, actually. I spent about an hour where I walked over there to try and find water and I just sort of went exploring for a little while and just I've, I feel like I'm back into enjoying the woods, does that make sense? There was a period where I was kind of like stressing myself out over it, stressing myself out over the videos and what I'm going to do and what the videos are going to contain and I forgot to just go out and just enjoy it and today's been Good day, good day. It's like 45 degrees right now, which is crazy. Like, I was out not that long ago and it was like we had more snow than a party at Rick James's house. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly it melts. And now there's, there's still plenty of snow around, it's just this little bit where it's been in the sun and I guess sheltered from these trees, there isn't that much snow, but it's going to get cold tonight, 21 degrees, so it's going to be a little chilly, hopefully the weather doesn't roll in. If it does, like I said, I'm just going to have to bivy it with the tarp and see how it goes. I'm looking forward to waking up and having a nice view over here, that's for sure.
We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, well, good start. Good start. Try it out, son of a... Someone was asking me if, in the comments if these are the, the famous, famous Kinko gloves, but no, they're not. Funnily enough, they are Kinko gloves, but these, these are the famous Kinko gloves, and I've still got them, and I tried everyone's suggestions, I tried mink oil, I tried neat's foot oil, I tried all the rest of it, rubber bands, and they're still stiffer than a NASCAR fan on race day. Yew! <laughs> no, they're still terrible. Still absolutely terrible. Still, it's like a hand workout every time you put them on. The difference is, these are pig hide. That's what they're made out of. And these ones are deer skin. And these ones come super soft and super malleable. I only put the mink oil on them to waterproof them a bit more. They're insulated inside, but they only cost like $30 at a local hardware store, so, and they work great for everything that I need. If Obviously, if it's like really wet, I would bring some different gloves because these can tend to soak up water after a while, as you saw on one of my other trips. But yeah, I see like, there's a company on Instagram that like sells the exact same thing and they initial them and they sell them for like $120. I'm like, what are you on about? I just go to, like I say, go to the lumber store, go to the hardware store and you get a pair of these for $30. Don't need to spend 120 on gloves. That way if they break, just replace them. Well, Brooks and Birches, Brooks and Birches, thank you guys for having your say with the name change. 76% of the votes, it was pretty unanimous, so I appreciate that. And I'll discuss more about the name change in a future video because there's some stuff that goes into that that 
I want to discuss, but I don't want to discuss my problems right now. What I really want to do is send my thoughts and my prayers to anyone in Kentucky who's been affected by those tornadoes or anyone who's been affected by the tornadoes. Like I say, sending thoughts and prayers your way. I know a lot of you guys ask me how you can help out the channel at times and honestly I, I'll leave a link to the tornado relief fund in the comments if anyone wants to help out the channel considering consider helping out those people I know Christmas is coming up and money's tight for everyone but if you want to and you can please consider doing that instead so apart from that I'm gonna drink my cup of tea gonna enjoy this fire a little more and uh, hang out so Thank you very much for watching as always and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. A lot of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed so and yeah as always I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.